Hey everybody, um, I'm here today to talk Viscous Vibe. This is a really cool Univibe pedal from TC Electronics. Um, it's part of their Tone Print series, which is another rad thing that you may or may not know about. Um, I'm personally a big fan of the Univibe sound. As you may or may not know, it was originally built uh, in Japan in the 60s trying to imitate a rotating speaker effect. It failed in that regard, but it succeeded in making something really cool and new, which um, I still use to this day. Um, so the controls we have here, it, oh, it has stereo inputs, and you can you know you can just plug it through mono if you want. Um, power source, nine volt, and a USB port for when you want to do tone print stuff. Um, I'm not going to do that in this video. Uh, maybe a later one. Um, so the three knobs: intensity, speed, and volume. And they're pretty simple. That you know, that's easy to understand. Then there's a switch, chorus, vibrato, the original two settings on the original Univibe, and then tone print for anything else you want to add. Um, so let's take a listen. Um, I'm going to be using the Muff Overdrive, by the way, for the for when I want to do some um, in front of vibe driving. Okay, I'm going to be playing the lore. Um, this the lore. Um, Archtop with a P90. It sounds pretty good. Can rock pretty hard. Let's give it a listen. So that's the sound of the lore. I'm going to kick in the univibe. Set on chorus with the intensity halfway up, the speed halfway up, and the volume should just be the same. There we go. So it's really beautiful. That's it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's the way for it to sound. I'm going to turn the intensity all the way up, so that it's also pretty, already pretty intense. Yeah, that's a little bit too much for me. Alright, I'm going to turn the intensity back to a little bit more than halfway, turn the speed all the way up. It's like a kind of cool trill. Be good for like an effect. I'll do this later when I have the, the drive on, like a kind of like throbby bass line kind of thing. To turn the speed lower, a little bit under halfway, which is where I like it. Just the movement, you know. I'm going to switch it to vibrato, intensity halfway up, speed halfway up. That's cool too. Turn the intensity all the way up, and the speed all the way up. Kind of laser sound effect. Speed a little bit less than halfway up. Intensity a little bit more than halfway up, as is my want. Very subtle. Okay, I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to just go to the tone print. Sorry, I had to adjust the volume a little bit. That's like that slow pulse. Turn the intensity all the way up on that one. This is just the default one. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to set it to chorus, intensity a little bit more than half, speed a little bit less than half, and kick on the muff overdrive. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. All right, I'm going to switch to vibrato. Turn the intensity up a little bit. Switch to tone print. Okay, so that sounds pretty awesome. Um, another feature of this so there's a whole tone print thing, which means you can edit it on your computer, you can download tone prints made by famous guitar players. Um, mostly like famous two guitar nerds, but nonetheless. And then you can have it on your phone, and you can, it sends it via magnetic signal through your pickup and puts it in the pedal. Um, it's really cool. It's a really great idea. I actually, I haven't gotten the editor to work. I'm going to do a video about that later once I get that to work with a couple different tone print pedals. Um, the other great thing about the viscous, the viscous vibe is it has the feature that when you hold down on a switch, the uh, speed increases. Um, and then when you let go of the switch, uh, it goes back to what you normally have. So I'm going to show you that on the chorus. Switching to the tone print. And when you turn the pedal off, it has a, like a fade out period. Which um, is really nice. I actually, actually got this pedal on reverb from somebody who was selling it for a significant discount because it was broken. Because it took like a second to switch off. And then I just looked it up in the user's manual and it was like, that's that's what it is, that's normal. Um, so that was a good deal. So it's the Viscous Vibe. Check it out, it's a really beautiful vibe. <laughs>